Hello, everyone, and thanks for taking the time to review the Los Gatos Real Estate Market Analysis from March of 2008. My name is Robert Whitelaw, and I'm a licensed real estate broker in the state of California. I'm also a uh, member of the National Association of Realtors and a certified EPRO. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the numbers. We're starting off with supply and demand. And, you know, Los Gatos has actually done fairly well, but we have seen uh, increases in the amount of inventory that, that we're getting in, in Los Gatos. Uh, the inventory is actually up 48% when compared to March of 2007, giving us a total homes on the market of 151. Now, if we go ahead and then take a look at the number of homes that were listed, these are folks entering the market in the month of March, and we can see that's also gone up. It actually went up by 25.4%, which gives us a total number of new homes listed in the month of 74. And finally, we take a look at the homes that have sold. Now, remember, these are year-to-year -year comparisons for the month of March. Uh, we can see that, again, sales have dipped. This is the third, fourth year in a row since 2005 that sales numbers have actually gone down. Now, last year we saw some fluctuation in the number of people entering the market. Inventory numbers actually looked okay for 2006 and 2007 as they continued to decline. But look at that dramatic increase between 2007 and 2008. Um, the number of homes that sold is actually down 26.9% in the month of March of 2008 when compared to 2007. And that gave us a grand total of 19 homes that were sold in Los Gatos. Now, if you do the math and you figure out how long this inventory would last if sales numbers stayed the same, we basically have enough homes to last almost eight months given the current sales numbers. Now, this, is, this isn't the, the pivot point. It actually go, goes back a couple of months to see when we started to see this change, this turnaround to the point where inventory was starting to accumulate more and sales were starting to drop. It'll be interesting to see how we how things continue. March is typically the first month of, of the selling season when buyers tend to come out. Um, so it's natural to see the increase in the number of homes listed as sellers anticipate moving into that selling season. I'm actually a little surprised that we uh, at the numbers we're seeing as far as inventory numbers for Los Gatos. I don't think I would have guessed quite that much of an increase, but we'll we'll see how able we're able to deal with that increase in the inventory numbers as we go through this season of uh, that's supposed to be the selling season. Now, if we look at just the numbers going over the past months, now we're not looking at past years anymore. We're just looking back all the way to February of 2007. So it's month to month here. And you can see a very clear trend as far as inventory numbers continuing to increase. Now you can, there's usually a, a, a seasonal influence here. I think that's very normal. We hit our low point in December. We see a buildup as we get further into the year. Normally, I wouldn't have expected to see as much of a buildup in January and February as we did. But the good news is, is that stay, sales have not continued to decrease. Now, granted, they are they are not where they were last year. Um, we we didn't we, we tended last year we saw a big increase between March and April. It'll be very interesting to see if we get a similar increase this year. I would guess we will. But look at the fact that we've actually seen sales start to increase. Now we would expect to see that. We want to see things increasing between February and March. Um, we got the same sort of thing last year, just at a higher level. Now from month to month, if you just compare February to March. We're talking a 26.9% increase in the inventory available in Los Gatos, a 15.6% increase in the number of homes listed, and an 18.8% increase in the number of homes sold. So that's the, those increases. Are, I, I, the inventory increase is, is a little bit more than I would have expected. The listing increase feels about right to me. The sales increase is a good thing and right on par with what I think we'd want to expect in a, in a relatively healthy market, which is what Los Gatos has been experiencing. Now let's go ahead and move on to home prices. Now we're looking at past years this time, again, uh, from March, going all the way back to 1999. One of the interesting things to note here is the difference between the average price of a home and the median. Whenever you start to see things that far apart, it's it's you're, you're usually starting to see things that are in a transi transition. Things are changing. The average price of the homes are up there, but the, the volume of homes that are selling is weighted towards the lower end. 
We'll see how that plays out, but if you look back to the last time we saw large differences, it's always been in pivotal years. If you look at 2000, for instance, when we saw a really big difference between median and average price, that was when you started to see things starting to turn the other direction. Same thing happened in 2004 when we saw a much larger difference between the two. So it's another one of these things that we've covered in other, other presentations as far as little signals, little flags that might indicate to us that we're in a pivotal time as far as things changing. Now, uh, as I said, the average home price was up 15.3%. Uh, excuse me, didn't say that before. Average home prices are up 15.3% when compared to the same time last year. Uh, and the average ham pr home price was $1,741,868 uh, with a median price of $1.4 million. Now, if we look at what the highest price home was, it was a home that sold on Laurel Avenue in Los Gatos, and that home sold for uh, $4,250,000. Its original list price was $4,700,000. So you can see that even at this price range, homes are selling, but in this case, the, the price needed to be dropped $450,000 uh, in order for that home to get sold. But it was only on the market for 41 days. So that's pretty good. When you look at a comparison between Los Gatos and the county, the average days on market is much larger for the county. It's, it's over double what it is in Los Gatos. Um, if we then look at uh, the lowest priced home was on Oakmont Drive in Los Gatos, and that home was listed for $750,000 and sold for $740,000. So obviously the sellers didn't have to come down too much to, in order to get that home to sell. So that's actually good news for them. Um, and I think it sort of just shows that we've, we've got a pretty robust market regardless of the price point. It's just a question of really being the best point, the best home at that price point. Now let's go ahead and take a look at home price prices over previous months. Uh, we can see how things have been moving. A lot of some season again, some seasonal influences here. Uh, the percentage price change from February to March was an increase of 12.9 percent. The median change, uh, median price change was down 10.8 percent, and the total number of homes sold was 19. Um, now, if we take a look at expectations, what should we be thinking about that's going to happen next month based on average price? If we look at March of last year and then what it did in April. Look at the increases. We saw good, healthy increases in the average sales price of a home. Um, next month is going to be very interesting because we want to try and define, like I said before, we've had indicators of us being at a pivot point. Um, Los Gatos really hasn't been been as hard hit as other parts of the county by the downturn of the market. So, and less, less places like Los Gatos tend to get hit by the market last and recover from the market first. So are we seeing Los Gatos heading further into the market that the county is experiencing or, or are we seeing an indicator that the market's going to turn t back towards being uh, more balanced between buyers and sellers? The next month could be a very big indicator on that in, in Los Gatos. If we see a pretty good selling season, if we see the average home prices increasing, that might be an indicator that we're starting to see a general uh, return to, of the market that could filter out to the rest of the county over a much longer period of time. But because this took so long for this market to change over the past few years, I, I would suspect that the recovery period is also going to be a little bit more protracted unless something dramatic happens. Okay, now let's go ahead and jump on to number of days to get a home sold in Los Gatos. Um, you can see these are relatively good numbers. Uh, it's and it's another situation where we actually are seeing a bit of an improvement over previous years. You know, we had our big robust year in 2005 when homes were selling very quickly, and then as the market got bad in general, the days it took to get a home sold increased. 62 days in, in 2006 and 61 days in 2007. That basically gave us a nine-day improvement over how long on average it's taking to get a home sold in Los Gatos, which is actually a 14.8% drop in the number of days to get a home sold. So this recent news is good news. We'll see how things go again next month, but th these are actually kind of encouraging. Um, and again, this is one of my canary type communities where whatever, whenever things are starting to get better here, once we're in a down market, which we are, improvements here tend to, tend to be things that are indicating that we're going to start heading into better improvements in the rest of the county. But again, we'll wait and see on that.
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the same numbers, days to sell in past months. Just as I pointed out last month, in, in the month of February, that 129 number was a statistical anomaly. It was due to having a property that had been on the market just for, for five, six, I can't even remember how many days it was. But even at that time, I pointed out that this was not something to get worried about. It was not something that was uh, a, a true market indicator. It was simply one property that was sort of throwing off the numbers. And as you can see, the days to sell decline, which we normally expect to see, and we usually expect to see December being the high month for days on market, just because that's the way it works seasonally, and we would expect to see a drop. And if you if you now draw a line from March back to December, you can see that that uh, if we hadn't had that statistically bizarre house sell in the month of February, that the line would probably be pretty much straight between December and March. So there, so you know we pointed out then that there was no reason to panic about that 129 day number. And that's, and that's borne out by the numbers that we've seen on a continuing basis uh, in March. Now, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, listen to what I have to say on these topics and presenting you with the data that I've analyzed for uh, all the different communities that I service. If you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to send me an email at robert at soldbyrobert.com. Also, if you're interested in reading other articles I've written or other video presentations, you can find me on YouTube at Rebel Broker. You can also find me at my website at www.soldbyrobert.com, and you can get all my videos there and also get access to my podcasts, which, which are published weekly. Um, and finally, if you would like to get in touch with me directly via phone, if you or anyone you know is interested in acquiring some real estate in Santa Clara County or is interested in selling some property in Santa Clara County, I'd be happy to talk to you. You can reach me at 408-852-0525. Thanks again, and I look forward to talking to you all next time.